we're going to come out with a disclaimer. Now, this is not to scare anybody or with, with no political involvement or anything like that, but what you will see here in this set of slides and with what we're going to talk about and discuss is the result of probably 20 years of 60 hours a week combined between two, three or four people. We would not encourage anybody to attempt to do some of the things that you're going to see on these slides on your own. We didn't do it on our own, so please don't attempt to do it on your own. We sought out professional help from kayak coaches and from dive you know, trainers and from different people that did different things and mountaineers and you name it, we needed it. We sought out professional people that could help us and we turned it and gelled it all together to help us to reach our goals. Now our goals are all based around one thing, and that is catching fish. It started out quite complicated, and people uh, over the years have said, we make our fishing really complicated. And the way we write about our fishing is really complicated, and from one week to the next, they don't know whether we're talking about soft laws or hard laws or a bucktail jig or a metal spoon or braid or fluorocarbon lines. But actually, everything, as you will see, all comes together and gels into one unit because basically a law is a law and a bass is a bass and a predatory fish is a predatory fish. So it makes no difference whether you're in a river, an estuary, a surf beach, South Africa, the northeast coast of America, Jersey, or Chesil Beach. Yes, believe me, Chesil Beach, it works there too. All these methods are universal. They work absolutely everywhere we've been. But they're methods that will absolutely fail if you do not have the confidence and belief that they will work. So we're going to try and explain today why, after 20 years of fishing with five pound laws and 30 pound laws and even 100 pound laws because we've bought some laws and people like Carpenter we've ended up making effectively what is a stick that we can cast anything from 10 to 100 yards and that catches up to what? Well, last year 1,231 bass of which unfortunately we had to keep one bass because it was deep hooked but over the years you know that the more we fish, the luckier we get. So we must be doing something right. Now the first part, we're going to try and run through some concepts. We, we can't get into it too deeply because you'll all fall asleep. But with some basic concepts of uh, why we fish where we fish, how we fish, how we get there, and some new things we're working on, like um, colour theory, and how it doesn't work in the dark, as we just kept me awake all night as we discovered that three of our laws that we thought were all different actually at night are all the same. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to do, after we've done that, we're going to have a little bit of a break and we've got loads of stuff up here so people can actually get some hands on and actually feel and see what it is that we're all talking about. And then in the second part, after we've had about five or ten minutes doing that, we're going to run through another slideshow that's just going to bang away on its own and every sort of 10 or 15 seconds the images will change. So if you want to watch that because you're bored of listening to us, that's fine, you put your that. iPods on and off you go. <laughs> but then we're actually going to talk about a load of stuff that's related to all the slides but may not actually be related to the slides as they're being shown. It's, it's like a, a collage of kayaking and being in the water and night fishing and rass fishing and bream fishing, all on laws, and we're going to try and talk about how Fishing for bream with laws helped us to catch more bass. And how fishing for wrasse with laws helped us to catch more bream, and in turn helped us to catch more bass. Because all fish in the sea, as we've discovered, eat laws. And by learning to catch each individual species, you actually in turn learn to catch more of the species you intended to catch in the first place. So on that note, let me just start to fire through these slides and I'll just quickly go over them until we reach the colour theory thing and then my brother will...